hello friends welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we'll talk about about the serialization in java we'll talk what is serialization uh, i mean what are the features of serialization uh, how we can make an object uh, uh, serializable and all so these are the basic concept basically i'm going to talk in this video and later point of uh, videos uh, i mean next series of videos we'll see a lot of huge cases of serialization with uh, example so let's uh, let's go through the slide now when we talk about the serialization in java right so object serialization is the mechanism of converting object into byte stream where the reverse process of recreating the object from those uh, serialized bytes is known as deserialization right so that's a pretty st uh, straightforward uh, concept uh, right so when you have an object and converts into the byte stream that is called serialization and reverse process of it like uh, recreating uh, uh, an object from those uh, uh, byte stream is called deserialization now what's the use of serialization in java right so once an object is converted to byte stream those bytes can be transmitted from one jvm to another where object can be reconstructed using those bytes and uh, used in the further processing right now when you convert an object into the byte stream using serialization process after that you can store on the disk or uh, db for further use as well right when we talk about the serialization then one thing you should keep in mind for, uh, regarding the portability so one important feature of serialization in java is that it offers portability when a uh, serialized object is transmitted across the network the serialization mechanism will take into account the differences in the operating systems right thus an object converted into byte streams in one operating system like uh, windows can be transmitted across the network and deserialized uh, into an object in the another operating system like unix operating system now here you can see the pictorial diagram of serialization process you have a java object and using serialization process you convert into the byte stream and after converting to the byte stream either you can save into the file or you can store into the db and you can transmit it uh, to the another jvm as well and there you can this serialize it right now uh, when we talk about the serialization uh, serializable uh, interface in java right so a mandatory requirement for a class object to be able to be serialized is that the class should implement serializable interface which is part of java.io package now here you should note that serializable is a marker interface or that is also sometimes referred to as a tag interface and does not have any field or method right so if you want to make serializable of any object right make sure that uh, uh, make sure that that class right that class implements a serializable interface and that is a marker interface so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys in next series of video tutorial we'll see how we can uh, perform serialization in java and uh, there are various concepts related to the serialization so guys big thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel